Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Fabian back again with another video. And today I'm doing not a music reaction, it's not a prank, nothing like that. I'm gonna do a QA. I haven't done a QA since I hit what was it, 2k subscribers? That was a few months ago. And now we're on 12k subscribers, 10k subscribers later. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. And there's a lot more of you guys that probably want to know a little bit about me. So I thought, you know what, 12k, I'm going to do a QA. and a I'll ask you guys questions on Instagram. You guys send in loads and loads and loads of questions. And I'm going to try to get through as many of these as possible. So thank you for sending your questions. I'm sorry if I don't get through yours, but yeah, there's too many. And I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. So I'm going to stop talking now because this is probably going to be a bit of a, a long video. And I don't want it to be too long. So Q&A, 12K special, Fabian J. Let's do this. The first question is by a guy called DZ ANBC and he asked are you excited about coming to Bosnia PS I'm gonna be here um, first things first I want to say thanks for your sending your question second thing is I am gonna come to Bosnia and when I'm there make sure you come say hi wherever I am if you're in the same city obviously uh, the third thing is I'm excited about going to Bosnia very excited my friends are excited as well But I'm not going to answer this question over and over again because I've had this question a few times regarding Bosnia and the situation here because I said to everyone when I hit 10k I'm going to go to Bosnia. I'm going to say this quickly. I want to I wanna get this out there before people keep like sending me messages saying when are you coming to Bosnia. I am coming to Bosnia but I'm not coming alone. I'm coming with my friends and my friends are working at the moment so they kind of have to get time off work. And not only that, I also said to you guys here that when I go to Bosnia, I want to go to a Jalabrat concert. Now, I've spoken to Jalabrat and I've asked him um, to let me know when he's performing and whatnot here. So I can basically book dates around that time so I can go to the concert as well. He said he's only got one concert in Bosnia in February time. So I'm going to see where that is here or if he has any more and I'll try to book um, for that time. But I will be coming. I can't promise um, a date at the moment because I haven't booked anything. But it will be real soon. I promise. Now you guys can stop asking me. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know you guys want me to, to come to Bosnia and I will be coming. Just um, bear with me, please. Okay, so the next question was by Steph R. Silver. And she goes, how do you balance your life and stay consistent with uploading videos on YouTube? Now, that's an interesting question, Steph. Um, thanks for your question. And... To be honest, um, I'm a very organized person, like first and foremost. Like I was like that at university when I was at school, whatever. I just in life, I'm a very organized person. So I don't really let life get on top of me in that sense. So that's one aspect of it. The next aspect is that I enjoy it. And if you enjoy something, you will always find time for it. And that applies to everything in life. Do you know what I mean? Like, same with relationships if you really like someone you're gonna find a way to make time for them so i always make time for for youtube and for the stuff i love doing in life and yeah that's basically it stay organized and follow what you love simple as that really it's not rocket science okay so the next question is by a girl called Bunty Sivana, I don't really, um, I don't really know which part is the first name and surname, so I'm sorry about that. Um, thanks for your question again. And she goes, it's not really a question, but um, she goes, let's go to a Jalla Brat concert together. And yeah, when I'm in Bosnia, if you're in Bosnia, yeah, we'll go to a Jalla Brat concert together. You know what I mean, the more the merrier. When I'm there, I want to meet as many of you guys as possible. So I'll let you guys know um, if I'm going to the Jalla Brat concert, which is very likely because that's why it's taking long because I'm trying to arrange it around that. But uh, yeah, definitely, we'll go together. I'll see you there. Okay, so the next question is by a friend of mine, Geta Shino. And she goes, what is the craziest thing you've ever done? And yo, <laughs> 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 Ooh, we're gonna be here for a long time. Um, yo, mad stuff. Um, I don't know. There's been a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? I've woken up in um, 
in the same bed, right, with a traffic cone. Like, just, just mad, mad, it's been mad, you know what I mean? That's not the wildest thing, but like, that's the kind of things that um, have happened to me. Generally, alcohol related as well. But um, nothing comes to mind now, but I'll tell you in private, I'll tell you in private because right now you gotta keep some things to yourself, do you know what I mean? Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at it. Thanks for your question though, I'll see you when I'm in Albania. Or Norway because you live in Norway now. Okay, the next question is by a girl called Tachal Hit underscore Lati. Um, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, thanks for your question. She goes, what's your dream of life? Okay, so this question, um, I don't know how to answer this purely because for me, when you say the word dream, I think of something that's over here that you can't reach. And um, yeah, that's not what I do. You know what I mean? Like everything that I think about, I know I can reach and I will reach one day. I believe. But I'll try to answer your question. What is your dream of life? And to be honest, if we're talking about at home, obviously, I want to have a nice family, a girl I love, a girl loves me, whatever, kids, all that stuff, the stuff that everyone wants. So yeah, we're all the same in that um, aspect. Then have a very good career. I'm very into my music. Um, I want to be a, a very um, big, successful DJ. So yeah, that's what I'm working towards and it's getting closer, it's gonna get closer. Don't you worry about that, you'll hear more of me soon. Okay, so the next question is by Mitrovic Uros5. Thanks for your question, mate. And um, he goes, in which music enjoy the most? What part of the world? So I'm assuming he's just saying, what kind of music do you listen to from what part of the world? And I listen to all kinds of music, right? All kinds. Like I can lis literally listen to, to pop, dancehall, R&B, EDM. I can listen to um, cheesy songs, um, love the 90s music. I can listen to rock, I can listen to anything. As for part of the world, again, um, I don't really have a preference to be honest, because if you check my playlist, I've got English music on there. Um, so when I say English, I mean American English. Um, I've got Turkish, I've got Albanian, I've got Serbian, I've got Bosnian, I've got German, I've got French, I've got everything. So I don't have a preference in terms of the country. If the song's good, the song's good, and you're making it on my playlist. And if you make it on my playlist, you better know that you have a very good song in your hands. Okay, so next question is by Winter Coming Stark and the question is, why don't you have an original intro for the video? And that one's a very simple question. Um, I don't know how to make an intro. <laughs> simple as that. It'll come soon though. If anyone knows how to make an intro, yeah, and you want to do it for free just to help me out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll give you, um, I'll give you some credit. I'll, give, I'll share you on Insta or something. Make one for me and I don't know, DM me that you made me one and send it to my email and I'll put it up. Okay, so the next question is by Natalia underscore TT and she goes, what made you start filming YouTube videos? I said this in my Q&A um, that I've done when I hit 2K but obviously there's a lot more followers, maybe you weren't around at the time, but I'll say it again. And the reason I started YouTube videos, I always wanted to but I could never be bothered. Um, life always got in the way. I didn't really know how to go about it. Um, didn't really know what to do. But then obviously I love music and obviously um, the things I want to do in life do revolve around music. So I thought, you know what? Let me check out um, as many songs as possible. Because the thing is before YouTube, I listened to many, many songs from all around the world. The thing is as well, people always like DM me on Insta and say, um, oh, like give me some songs, like give me a playlist and etc. etc. right? So for you know what, let me just start a channel, do a few reactions, and people can just see me on there to be honest, instead of me just like sending people playlists all the time. And also on top of that, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, obviously you do because you've sent me in the question on Instagram. But everyone who follows me on Instagram will see that um, I always do like rants and stuff on my um, Insta story and everyone loved it. Everyone was like, oh, you're hilarious, you're this, you're like the other, do YouTube, do YouTube, do YouTube. And I thought, you know what, let me give it a go, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> nothing to lose, nothing to lose. So that's what I've done. I made YouTube videos and here we are, 12K subs. Not bad, eh? Thanks for your question though. Okay, next question is by Mario.Mill713. When and how did you start listening to Barker music? Easy. I was born, raised and live in London, but I'm originally from the Balkans myself, I'm Albanian. So I listened to Barker music since I was born. Simple, answer your question in less than 20 seconds. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Still fast as fuck, boy. Okay, so the next question is by my cousin Marinella. Um, she sent me in a question. Uh, she's just being a bit cheeky. You guys know her if you watch my videos. Give her a little um, follow on Instagram. I'll put it in down below somewhere. Actually, no, you'll see the question here. And um, she says, Congrats 
thank you. And she goes, when will I be on your video again? Easy, you're gonna be on my videos in a couple of days. Simple. By right, these couple of days off, um, I'll film this right now because I don't know when I'm gonna put this up. But yeah, definitely soon because I know a lot of, of people on here, especially the guys, are loving her. Okay, so the next question is by Svetko underscore the underscore great. Top five artists from the Balkan. You are awesome, by the way. Um, yo, this is a hard question. Number one for me is Noisy, obviously, because I listen, I've been listening to him for like 11 years now. So for me, like, I know every single word, like, Noisy is my guy. So I have to stay with that. He's number one. And Jalen Brat, obviously. Um, and then I just have to stick with that for now, to be honest. I give, I'll give you two. I can't really give five right now because nothing's coming to mind because everyone else I can appreciate, but I haven't really um, got them nailed down as a favorite. But those are my two so far. I'll probably tell you the other three on Instagram. So yeah, um, that's all I can say. Sorry, but thanks for your question. Okay, so the next question is by my auntie. And she goes, why are you always happy? What's your secret? I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. This is a nice question. It's a bit deep, so um, I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. But there's a few reasons for this. Um, I think we're all very, um, lucky and privileged to be on this planet as it is regardless of what your situation is so that in itself is reason to be smiling in my eyes um the second thing is right that what you put in is what you get out so the happier you are the more optimistic you are the more happier you will be do you know what I mean like the more successful you will be it's not forced by me like I used to be completely different but things happen in life that that changed me to be honest and yeah I'm very happy I'm very optimistic I'm always laughing I'm always joking I'm always like like taking a piss out of people in a good way so yeah that's that and the third reason as well is yeah that I'm someone who I'll pray every night um I'm not the most religious person, but I go to church every Sunday, I pray every night, I read the Bible. So for me, I found peace in myself, I found peace in um, in like my religion. So for me, that's made me happy, do you know what I mean? It's, it's made me um, look forward to stuff in life, because I know I'm gonna get to where I'm gonna get to, everything's planned out for me, so I know I'm gonna get to where I need to be. So yeah, those are my reasons. I can't get into too much detail, otherwise I'll be here for a long time, but that's a deep question. But yeah, that's that's the answer basically. Thanks for your question, Teze. Love you lots. Next question is by that with Fiku underscore, and he goes, how do you see your account in a year? Someone asked me this um, when I hit 2K subs, and that's hard, man. That's so hard because I don't know. Like, you could put up a video and end up like everyone not liking the video and unsubscribing, or you pop a video and it bangs so much and you end up for like 500k subscribers, you don't know. YouTube is a funny little thing. You can't ever um, plan this kind of thing, but I'm very confident in myself and my personality and what I do. And yeah, I can. I think it'll be successful, but that's me just, um, that's me being me to be honest. I'm optimistic and I'm very confident in myself. I know I'll get there. Okay, so next question is by Zan VC. He asked me a question already, but I'll, I'll put this one up as well. He goes, would you rather stop listening to Jalen Brat or switch into your football team's rival? No, I'll tell you straight, I'll stop listening to Jalen Brat. What kind of question is that? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. I'm a Chelsea fan. I was born and raised in Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? Chelsea means a lot to me. Chelsea's my life. You think I'm going to stop? I'm um, watching Chelsea for anything else. No way, I'm not I'm not going to switch the rival team. Are you mad? If I'm going to support Tottenham, God forbid. Do you know what I mean? No way, no way. Yeah, like I'm not switching football teams for anything. Thanks for your question though. Okay, so next question is by one of my biggest um, supporters, Maida.Obradovic00. Hope you're well, hope to see you soon. And she goes, if you have the chance to live anywhere in the world, what country would it be and why? And... I don't really know how to approach this because obviously I live in London, right? And my favorite city in the world that I visited and I've just been like, wow, like mesmerized was New York. So I would say New York naturally, but I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, is, like, what's the difference between New York and London? Very similar, um, people are gonna expect you to say somewhere hot. Do you know what I mean? Like, because obviously we're in, um, in the middle of a big city and the weather's like, well, pretty dead to be honest. Um, so I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, why do you pick somewhere like Maldives? Well, let me ask you one thing. Can you see yourself living in a place like Maldives for the rest of your life? It's good for two weeks, 
but you can't live there so i'll probably try find something in between and for the sake of the the question in the video i don't know let's say brazil i love brazil i love everything about them the food um the culture the music um the women like they love football like i do so yeah probably brazil but ideally new york okay so the next question is by posh tenno and um the question is what's your ultimate goal with youtube i love your videos by the way keep it up hot and first things first, I heart you too. Thanks for your support. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. And as for answering your question, ultimate goal of my YouTube channel, have fun. Simple as that, just have fun. As long as I'm having fun, like the, the numbers and stuff will take care of itself. I'm not really thinking I need to do this so I can get views, you know what I mean? Like I basically do what I feel makes me happy. Um, I'm not gonna do anything that I don't want to do on this channel. That's just not me. Like, like I'm like that in life. Do you know what I mean? No one's ever gonna pressure me or or peer pressure me into doing anything I don't want to do. Life's just not gonna gonna make me do anything I don't want to do. It's my life. What they want, I wanna do. So yeah, ultimate goal is to have fun with it. And if my having fun and like putting in the work is rewarded by. I don't know, viewers and, and subscribers and stuff, then then yeah, it is what it is, thank you. But have fun, basically. Okay, so next question is Lemania.Milius, and he goes, what was the last time you cried and what for? I don't know when the last time I cried was, and um, I don't know what for, probably something football related ages ago, like years and years and years ago. Probably 2012 when Chelsea won the Champions League, you know what I mean, it was just happy tears. But um, yeah, I'm not really someone who cries. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? And I will up, but that's not crying. I mean, I'm assuming you mean like proper tears. So, yeah, um, that's probably last time, but it might be after that, but I just can't remember. And this isn't me saying to people, um, oh, men don't cry. I mean, that's BS, you know what I mean? Men cry, real men cry. The guys who are like, oh, real men don't cry, yo, you're not a real man. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no. Um, Judging a man who cries, you lot are crazy. Okay, so the next question is by Mina Obradovich, and she's asked me two questions. What's your zodiac sign and date of birth? And I'll answer both of those now. 20th of May 1994, and I'm a Taurus. But yeah, thanks for your question, and thanks for asking a question to like really get to know something personal about me. Okay, so last question is by Mensur, Mensur Softich. And he goes, if you have a chance to meet one singer from Europe, who would that be? Okay, so for me, this question has to be between two people. Um, the first person is, and he's like the, one of the guys that, for me, he's the best artist in Europe. For me, he's the best artist in the world. I think um, he's super talented. His voice is incredible. There's nothing he can't do. He's, um, he's just an inspiration, a humble guy. He's everything that you would want an artist he has. And he's number one for me in general. And this is why I'd want to meet him first. The artist I would meet is Metal Games from, from France. I think he's incredible, man. He's, he's just, psh, everything about him is amazing. I've followed this guy's career since he was in Section d'Assault. And um, <laughs> yeah, um, like his music's unbelievable. Anything he does is just incredible. I bought his album. I don't even buy um, CDs, obviously. Like no one does anymore. But I bought the album that he released like under a year ago now, I think it was. And two CDs, 40 songs, and all 40 were incredible. I definitely recommend that. So yeah, he's number one. The second one is Azit. Like he's up and coming. Like everything about um, his music is unbelievable as well. I like his flow. It's very different. It's, it is creative as well. I like the fact he does his videos in different countries all the time. Obviously he's Albanian too. And yeah, he's a very humble guy. Like based on what you see, what you see on his Insta stories, you don't hear BS about him. Like, he was in prison, changed his life around and stuff like that. So yeah, those two. But yeah, guys, that's it for the Q and A. I just want to say thanks to anyone who managed to send me a question. I answered as many of them as possible um i'm sorry if i didn't get to answer your question but you have to understand i can't answer everything otherwise i'll be here for a long time and you guys will get bored so thanks to everyone who sent a question and took the time to write me a question and get to know something about me like share subscribe comment below some more suggestions that i can do for videos pranks um reactions anything and i'll i'll, I'll consider them you know what i mean like i don't promise that i'm gonna do it but i'll consider them but yeah not too much i can say guys subscribe down below thanks for your support on our way to 20k subs and until next time guys i hope you have a good one